Talks Excellent international editor Isabel Oakshot. Isabel, uh, may I be the first to uh, wish you a very happy Christmas uh, because I'm afraid that uh, TV festive ad season is upon us and already uh, the uh, big stores are launching their traditional assault on British Christmas. Uh, the first out of the traps is Boots. Uh, basically, let's have a quick look at how Boots is going to assail us uh, throughout the next couple of months with its festive ad. Make magic boots. Uh, now, uh, that uh, actress, the star of that show, was uh, Bridgerton actress Ajo Ando, uh, who, of course, notoriously on Coronation Day, uh, criticised the Buckingham Palace Royal Gathering uh, as a terribly white balcony. You remember that, and she had to apologise for that. She is now playing Mrs Claus... Uh, this is Mrs. Claus's workshop, for some reason spelt W-E-R-K, workshop, in sta entirely staffed by women and trans women who are called uh, elf influencers, as in influencers. Uh, and uh, they're busy getting all the uh, presents ready. They're the women and the trans women. Uh, while that fat, lazy man, you know, bloke, uh, Father Christmas snores in his, his chair in front of the fire and uh, as you saw then, when he wakes up from his, you know, his absolutely disgraceful slumber, uh, his slovenly slumber, uh, Mrs Claus smiles wryly and says, and you thought it was all him? No, no, no. I mean, come on. Well, you know, uh, and already loads of uh, customers are saying, right, we're not going to Boots this Christmas. Why do these stores do this? And this will be the first of many. You've seen these TV adverts. There will be adverts where, oh, look, there's a family having Christmas. And there'll be a Sikh sitting there and a Muslim, a woman in a hijab. Yeah. And it's like, they don't even celebrate Christmas. What are they doing there? You know, that's what we're going to get for the next couple of months. Why do these businesses, these shops do this? I don't know. I mean, do you remember this time last year? Um, I think John Lewis had their advert, which was a um, a boy cross-dressing as a girl That's... prancing around. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, every year it seems to be that we get a new twist or a new take on this. And as you say, you know, why is it that so many of these adverts are dominated by people of colour? You know, why... As you say, there are people in those adverts that actually are of other religions, and it doesn't mean to say they can't also celebrate Christmas, but it seems like these companies are bending over backwards to actually marginalise the mainstream that celebrate Christmas and have done for, for centuries uh, and longer. Um, I, I find it very kind of creepy in a way. Yeah, I, I did too. It's certainly not a white Christmas. I mean, you know, I've got nothing against, uh, you know, people of colour and people of other religions appearing in these adverts, but it's just a bit odd. And they, the companies go out of their way to do it. And you may have noticed in the middle of this advert uh, that uh, said actress, Bridgerton actress Ajo Ando, 
you know, who obviously is specifically chosen because she's the one that said basically the trouble with the royal family standing on the balcony there is they're all too white. Well, you know, it is the British royal family. You know, I'm not sure what we can do about that. Uh, so she's specifically <laughs> chosen for that. But you may have noticed in the middle of the advert, she turns to one of the effluencers or whatever you call them, elfluencers, effluencers. That's even better. <laughs> Um, right? yeah, yeah, I like that. That was a good, good, good Freudian slip on my part there. Uh, and she says, oh, uh, what she's meant, if it was you and I, we'd say, oh, that's very her. But no, 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 that's very them. So that advert is full of the them and they pronouns. I mean, I mean it's ridiculous. Why do we need it? Yeah. We, we don't need this. I don't want to have to think about... I don't want to have to think along racial lines when I'm watching... A Christmas advert. Why are we? It feels like we're being re-educated through these adverts. It feels as if this is an attempt to use the great traditional British um, Christmas TV advert as a way of re-educating um, the population that, to think in a certain way. And it all ties together, doesn't it, with this whole other thing where you can be persecuted and have policemen at your door for saying or yeah. or perish thought thinking or being yeah. being thought to think the yeah. wrong way. Yeah. It's all really creepy, I think. Yeah. You know, I, of course, let me be very clear, I've got no problem at all. It's lovely to have all sorts of people of all backgrounds and all religions joining in Christmas. You know, Christianity is an incredibly inclusive faith. You know, yeah. they want churchgoers would like nothing better than for Muslims to drop in on the service yeah. uh, and to be in the advert, that's fine too. But can we not be marginalised? Yeah, no, exactly right. It's the new orthodoxy that for some reason big corporations feel they want to pummel us with. Now, I've got a message for Boots. Uh, this will alienate your customers. It already has. Loads of customers saying, right, we're going to super drug this Christmas, uh, and so on and so forth. So I don't, I just, it just absolutely baffles me that they go down this path and and of course it is debunking traditional british christmas why would you want to do that i don't know we've got something really special going in our traditional christmas you know i i travel all over the world and i have yet to find a country that does christmas better than the uk or or how we used to do christmas anyway you know even New York is not a patch on, on London and York and Edinburgh and our wonderful cities yeah, at yeah, yeah. and our villages as well. You know, there is nowhere that does it better. So let's not spoil it by trying to turn it into something it isn't. It's not part of the culture wars. It doesn't need to be part of the culture wars. It is one of our best and most precious things. Don't trash it, corporations. Please don't. Well, they will, because we've got two months of this, and let me tell you, this is one of the first ads there. We've got the John Lewis one coming up. All the other stores will come up. They will all be uh, like this, as uh, people have said, woke monstrosities. They just will be. You know it. Uh, let me know uh, the audience. I'm speaking to the audience now. Uh, let me know what you think about all this, because it really irritates me. As I say, I've got no objection to people of colour and, uh, you know, people of other religions being in these adverts, it just strikes me as a bit odd. You know, why do they want to, you know, basically assail traditional British Christmases?